Okay, so before we start, before I start showing you how to make the orchid flowers, let me show you how to cut the templates. This is not shown in any any place, any other video. And if you don't do this right, you're not going to get your flower right. So this is my template which I already have. So I'm going to show you on the same template. So I'm going to show you the measurements for the same template. This is about 16 centimeters. So I drew a line 16 centimeters. Okay, on a on a thick cardboard paper. Now over here, from from this end to this, it's about ten centimeters. So across, I will draw. I will mark ten centimeters. Now I will just take my and go like this. It can be a little bigger and a little smaller. That makes no difference. Okay, so I go like this. Now I start shaping this. This comes, this is the widest part of my flower. So this, I will start shaping them. You can cut this and then fold it and cut the other side so that you get equal. And I will just go like this, see? Like this. And from here, I will come inside. Okay. So you can see. I have got a similar pattern. So this is what you will do. You will just come, cut from here, make some curves and then go in. Fold it over, cut it. The same thing you will do with your leaves. The leaves are also about 13 centimeters. So you will do the same thing, 13 centimeters, a line in the center and just curve it. This is this is sorry not the leaves this is the petal petal 2 and this is petal 3 petal 2 is 13 centimeters and petal 3 is 12 centimeters so the same thing you will just taper it okay so this is how you will cut your templates now let us start with the flowers what most videos don't tell you is about the grain of the paper now you can see here, there are some lines on this paper, right? This is called the grain of the paper. So in my template 1, I have marked lines like this, which means that this, pep this petal has to be cut like this, okay? And in petal 2, my lines are cut, are marked like this. So this means my petal will be cut like this. This is called the grain of the paper and it is very very useful for molding and shaping the flowers. If you don't cut it according to the grain you will lose out on a lot of fine uh, what you could say fine details of the flower. So this will cut out and this orchid is again straight. This the petal one is again straight. So this is the grain of the flower. So this is the grain. I have marked it like this. So this is the grain of the paper, like this. These three petals, this second petal, this is the third petal. The grain is marked like this. So my lines are running vertically. Petal two, we need two. The grain is marked. And so my grain is running like this. Now I will wire all the petals so I will take small strips of the same don't throw out all these waste take small strips of them and wrap wire same as you would wrap the green tape so make small strips stretch them take thin wire and wrap them same as you would wrap the green tape so those of you who are new to flower making and don't know how to wire the petals the 
wire for the petals um, I ju just let me show you that okay you will take the same color paper that you are using for the petals okay for the stem we get this green tape ready-made tape but for the petals you have to use the same color of course there is white and brown tape also available but that's for so you will start like this and you will just turn this finger and this you turn it and you will just go around apply a little glue because this is paper so be very careful and you will just come till the edge when you reach the edge you will apply a little glue and so this is how you will buy your petal wires okay so now let's start attaching the wiring now I have already done some wires here so you will I have this duplex paper has two colors so I'm going to use for this one I'm going to use the dark on the outside so I will wire it on the inside I'm going to use the dark side out okay so I take some fevicol and apply it to the whole length of the petal and right from this tip to this oh it's still okay so I will put some more fevicol here so you get right from the tip to that so you have to wire the whole petal see that your petals are dry before you start making the flower let the fevicol dry up completely so I will the same way I will wire all the petals but since I'm keeping the dark side out for the next petal I will keep the dark side in so I will wire on the dark side so that the light side is out the light side will come out okay I told you the first petal I want this side up so I veined it from the on the lighter side this petal I want the light side up so I veined it on the dark side these two petals now the third one I want them on the I want the dark side out so I will again vein it on the light side like the first one so whatever you do for the first one the second one will be the opposite and the third one will be the opposite again will be the same as the first one okay. so now let us make the piston for the center of the flower so I'm going to take green stem I already have wired this but I don't need this exactly I need green stem for this and when I come to the edge or to the beginning I'm going to roll it many more times to give it a thicker effect thicker look over here so you can see I'm going backward and forward and so you can see this I've given it a little thicker effect on the top now I'm going to roll this in semolina suji which I have a lit, roasted a bit and added you can either add so this is semolina and this is uh, I have roasted it and it and it's quite uh, warm now and this is poster color you just mix the poster color and semolina together I make a little extra and keep it because there are many flowers that will require so it's just easy to drip it now this, since this is my first flower I'm showing you so here I have the semolina and the piston I'm going to roll this piston in fevicol nicely roll it in fevicol and I'm going to dunk it in this so you see I got 
a piston ready so now this piston I'm going to attach it first I'm going to attach this flower petal let me just rinse my so now I'm, we are going to assemble this flower now the first petal I said I wanted the dark side inside now I'm going to join these two petals not fully just till here so I'm going to just apply a little glue on this outer side and I'm going to just stick it here put your finger from the inside and get this thing to stick to make oh oh just hold it like this for some time so that it sticks out the, the weather is so beautiful today see just stick it like this now I'm going to put this oh, it's coming out again just let me just let it stick okay and then you do the remaining now I'm going to push this into this tube and just let it pop out a little bit okay be careful so I just wanted this much out hmm? so I just keep it out this much and I'll just this petal will come, will open out like this so the piston will just be a little above this okay we'll come to this petal next later now I will take the two the petal number two that is the broad ones okay and I will attach it over here on the opposite sides one on this side and the other one on the other opposite side okay on both the opposite sides of this flower of the first petal I'm going to tie it up tightly so that it doesn't move Okay. Now I'm going to take these, these are on either side, I'm going to take this single, these one and put them, space them down below. So one will be in the center of these two petals here and one will be in the center of the bigger petal and the second petal and the other one will be in the center over here. like this it looks odd now but it will get better as we complete the flower so all the three petals are here and now we will again join this to do the last assembling so now I have joined all the petals I'll take out this thread now let us start assembling here, this petal here, this is here, and this is the one of the two which are in between. We will bring it in the front. Okay, now you know we had we had fluted this, cut this paper in a different shape, right? We cut it according to this grain that is for. Now you will start fluting. This is called fluting. You will hold the paper with your thumb on both the sides and slightly pull it out. Just stretch it. This is called fluting. You will stretch the paper. 
on the other side again you will stretch it so as you stretch it you will see can you see this effect yes so we do that on this side also the same thing we will do it for the main bigger petal slightly this petal won't stretch much because we have cut it on the straight grain so it will just stretch a little bit and we will just cup it with my thumb and my finger and just pressing it in these petals will be straight this petal first petal will be turned outward it will be turned outward these will be straight and these will be in the center again turned a little so this is your beautiful orchid these are bigger ones which you can use for decoration I'm going to seal the stem. So you you have your beautiful 